Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a 6O into a 62. So a Frankenstein uh, 62 liter, I guess you could call it, using a 6O block and what parts I use for that and heads and the whole nine yards. I'm just going to run through it, um, show you the parts that I bought, and obviously. The block has been bored out to a uh, 6.2 liter, the bore diameter, so that's a 4.65. And yes, it is a 6.0 block iron. And uh, the reason we did this, this is a customer's uh, engine and uh, um, we had some issues with it and we decided to uh, punch it out to a 6.2. And I'll show you a little bit more about that right now parts that we're using, we're going to be using to uh, do the Frankenstein 6.2 uh, uh, liter here. Um, originally this motor, uh, it's a, uh, I think it was an LQ4 motor, uh, dish uh, 6.0 pistons, and uh, came with uh, 317 heads. So now uh, the heads that we're running are uh, the uh, square port. Um, I just picked these up from the machine shop. So difference in uh, heads here. These flow way better and obviously this is what the six twos uh, come with. Um, they said I just picked these up from the machine shop. They've been resurfaced, uh, valve job, and also uh, we did the upgrade on the uh, valve springs, dual valve springs, because obviously we're going to be running a uh, Texas speed cam here. Uh, I'm trying to basically make the same setup I had, or I have actually, in my white truck. That truck, uh, once I swapped the uh, 6L80 in, um, it is a 6.2 ported heads, um, Texas speed cam headers and all that. It put out uh, 468 horsepower and uh, 415 foot pounds of torque. Um, the only difference in this is these heads are not ported, um, other than you know my engine. Uh, they are ported. These are completely stock, other than like I said, they've been uh, taken to the machine shop to uh, get a resurfaced valve job, put the springs on, clean them up. So uh, this casting here, um, it's a five three six four. So I know there's uh, 821s are, I believe, are the genuine LS3 heads. These are just a regular, uh, like Denali truck uh, SUV heads, which still, you know, they flow pretty good. The, I think the only difference here is the valves. Um, I did upgrade valves on my truck to the LS3 valves, the uh, intake valve. And these are the stock valves, like from the truck or SUV, whatever these heads uh, came off of. And uh, we're gonna put this 5.3 uh, crank in it. Um, it's the same as 4.8, uh, 5.3, 6.0. Um, we had to get a new crank for it because this motor uh, was uh, lacking uh, lubrication and it wiped out all the bearings. So uh, we're gonna put a 5.3 crank that's been uh, turned or machined polished, I should say, um, in the block, um, all new bearings, everything. And uh, yeah, so that's how we're gonna turn it into a 6.2. It's been bored out already, like I mentioned. And I'm gonna show you right now the pistons that I got. All right, so for the pistons, this is an aftermarket piston. It's not an OEM, but it is a, uh, a 6.2 piston that I bought for the customer. Um, and like I said, it's, it's a, this diameter is a 4.65, and uh, you can tell right here, it goes right in, it comes right out. So, like I said, it's a 6.2 now. Um, going to be running these uh, pistons in here, just like so. Um, new rings, new, new everything, new uh, lifters. Like I said, uh, backed up with that uh, Texas speed can. So 
basically I, the reason I'm calling it a Frankenstein uh, 6 2 liter it is a 6 0 liter block bored out to a I think the original bore is a 4.00 this is a 4.065 um, I may be mistaken by the digits or whatever but um, yeah so we're gonna start assembling this later on today. I'm not gonna show none of that as there is like multiple videos of number of builds and rebuilds and whatever on, uh, on YouTube. Um, the only other thing we did do to it, obviously as well is uh, always recommended put new uh, cam bearings in here. Um, it's all taken apart so you might as well just do them. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a fresh motor, uh, fresh, uh, 6.2 um, I'm hoping uh, with this setup even though the heads are not ported but the cam the cam is a little bit different than the one I have in my truck but it's just slight slight difference and uh, um, I'm hoping this uh, setup is going to put uh, a little bit over 400 and you know 420 40 horsepower um, once all said and done um, it is going to be backed up by the uh, 4080, so, you know, obviously 4080s take up 15% horsepower. Um, if you look in here, as far as the bore, um, you used to have plenty of meat here in between. Um, there's been a few uh, 6 O's out there that have been punched out to a 6.2. Um, Obviously, this is not recommended to do if you're gonna boost, but for an NA setup, maybe some nitrous, uh, this would be fine, because it's still a strong iron sleeve, and uh, you should be pretty covered on that. So the only other thing too is with the pistons here, the whole case comes with new uh, pins. It's a floating pin, and uh, this is another set of used uh, 6 2 pistons. I am going to be using the rods. These are uh, Gen 4 rods that I'm going to be swapping into that. And yeah, man, so basically that's what's going to make this uh, into a uh, 6 2 with the pistons, the heads, I mean, the rods. The rods are the same length and everything. It's just this is a, the GM stronger version rod um, that they came out with so i'm not going to show very much here um elf i should say they like said uh, the cam it's the texas speed cam um the specs on here as you can see is a uh 225 236 the 112 lsa the lift is pretty high and uh, the lift on my truck, it's way high up there too as well. Mine's a uh, 227, uh, 235 is what mine is compared to this one. So uh, I think this uh, little setup, uh, it's really gonna, you know, put out some power. And uh, yeah, so partially I didn't have time to port the heads. Um, I would have loved to. Because as you can see, I don't know if you can see in there, some of these, uh, well, it's pretty dark. But anyways, um, some of the passages here are for the rocker arm. You have that little bump. I take those out, pour all around, uh, port where the stem's at, round it off, and, you know, get these things to flow even better or even more than as they already do. But yeah, um, basically, that's what you would need to convert your uh, 6 -0 into a 6-2. Um, it's gonna have all new uh, bearings and all that. So uh, that's gonna be a fresh motor. Um, only other thing right now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the engine stand here um, and get ready to uh, start assembly, uh, measure everything, make sure everything all the clearances are good and all that and yeah so if you guys have any questions comment below um any advice i'm always open to advice 
you know, I, sometimes I may be wrong on certain things and stuff like that. And yeah, man, I'm open to advice and stuff like that. Um, or, you know, I'm glad to answer questions or any concerns or anything you guys have. You know, I'm happy to uh, help you guys out. And uh, yeah, man, so stay tuned for this. Um, I'll probably just show this motor once it's fully assembled and probably in the truck running. Um, like I said, so yeah, so I want to thank all of you once again the new subscribers and stuff like that don't forget to put the uh little bell button remind you every time i post a video yes i do not post that often but i'm trying to get into that uh mode of posting more content more videos uh probably the next video i'm going to do is uh, the parts regarding the lsa that i have already and i just need two more things uh to complete the whole swap but I will be showing that in another video. So just like and subscribe and uh, see you next time.